Welcome back to Brazen Brits. I'm Lawrence. And I'm Natalie. And today is our second collaboration of the year. Of the year, yeah. How exciting. And honestly, this has been quite... It's been easy in one way, but difficult in another. I think it's been really difficult. It's a, a right. three or five. I don't even remember how many we're doing, but it, it's, a, it's a tough choice. Okay, let's roll the intro, and then we're going to tell you our top three campsites we've ever stayed at. It really makes me wonder... So, like we said, this is a collaboration with five other channels, which I will leave below. Um, so, once you've watched this, go over and check out theirs because this is a good one because we all RV very differently. Yeah. Some so. of us are full time, part time, most time. And it's priorities as well. And yeah, it's going to be interesting. <laughs> some people have kids, some people are older or younger. Or dogs. Old, so, no dogs. dogs. Yep. Yeah. So, so, this is uh, going to be very interesting. So, number one. My number one is Tolona Ridge. Oh, okay, good choice. Yeah. So uh, we don't typically like the resorty places because no. there's generally a lot of kids and amenities that you're paying for that we don't really use. Like we don't use the pool or the hot tub. We've used a pool once. I feel like it was very resort. adult only though. I don't remember seeing yeah. a lot of kids stuff there. But I think that's why I like Tolona Ridge because it did feel a bit more adult only. Yeah. There's a tiki bar and there's some cool fire pits. There's not a lot of kids stuff there, but there is some yeah. obviously. But Anyway, so I put that in the same kind of um, category as like Margaritaville. So it's expensive. No, Margaritaville way more kid stuff. <laughs> true, that's true. But I mean the idea of the whole resort. Like yes. the resort, it's everything's immaculate. And well, and this has come back to why this is kind of <laughs> difficult because we're thinking about location. Georgia's beautiful, especially in the autumn. Mm -hmm. um, you know, things to see and do around that campsite mm -hmm. and then the actual campsite itself. So that's why yeah. this is kind of difficult because I mean we've stayed at some great campsites that have nothing around them so mm -hmm. or we've we stayed love. at some fantastic campsites that oh no wait i said that one i don't know the other way around yeah. some gnarly places but that have great like stuff around, stuff around. so that's why this is kind of difficult this but has I, been tough I do, yeah. yeah you're right Tolona ridge does have like the hikes and uh gosh what else the bigfoot museum <sighs> anyway we love Tolona ridge it's immaculate the place is immaculate and the other thing is um so we actually went there because we uh went to see todd and sheila for their switch it up huddle yeah. uh, and they actually pretty much opened the park their yes. first huddle was them opening the park so uh the park has given them a discount code um we don't have an affiliate with them but no. if you you can get a discount if you are part of the switch crew i believe yeah so number two is my favorite and that was the hollywood casino in bay st louis i never thought i would say a casino was one of my favorite resorts but it was again close to loads of interesting stuff we had no idea about waveland and hurricane katrina and everything until we got there there was a beach there that the water is gross it's brown but you could let the dogs off leash and they could run around and you know the water's clean it's not like it's um poisonous or anything and but. just down the road you can actually go and walk down to the shoreline yes uh, yeah. where there are both loads of plots of lands it was a really interesting walk but i wonder whether like the the actual campground wasn't that great but it had everything you needed. No, it had and you do have to pay a resort fee because, um, but then you have full access yeah. to the casino, the lazy river, all of the casino amenities, and it was like True. ten bucks. So it wasn't. I remember yeah. thinking it was pretty cheap. I think like Monday to Thursday, it's fairly inexpensive. The weekends, right. it got a little bit more expensive. No breed restrictions. My number one, obviously. And there was actually two other people with Dobermans there that week. Mm -hmm. We were there. I just felt safe. Oh yeah, because you went to New Orleans. No, you went. Well, you travelled from New Orleans, yeah. and they have a security car that come round like every few hours. Yeah, so we um, we stayed there for a couple of weeks actually, um, because I had to go back to Virginia for work. That was it, yes. And it was really nice to know that the security guard kept um, an eye on just everyone. drives around. You know, obviously the the entire casino he looks after, yeah. but there's a guy that just drives around and they they cover the campground as well. But yeah, I think I don't know. I think some a lot of that was situational. It wasn't the best campground for any reason, but we had a fantastic. It was time. clean. It was tidy. It was no mud, no sand. It, no, yeah, but it wasn't a Tolona no Ridge. It wasn't a Margaritaville. It was no, just a was campsite so that you could stay there and parking lots. No RV lots, whatever they call it, where it's a bit more like a a parking lot than a resort. I don't know. It's nicer. I had laundry than that. facilities. I feel like it was nicer than that. 
Anyway, for whatever reason, we love it. We <laughs> yeah. always remember it from our trip in 2021. That was our favourite campground. It was. All right, and our third and final one, which is very different from the other two, is Otter Springs. Now, there's things we like and dislike about this, but um, we had a fantastic time. It probably helped because we were there with the wags. Yeah, true. So it was a bit of a party week. Um, but Otter Springs is owned by Vets Inc, I believe. Yes. Uh, it's a veteran charity and they're actually expanding the the site not just the campsite but they're putting buildings in for um veterans to um you know bring them back into society after they've done the service yes and their families so they're supporting that so we did a whole video on that you can go and check that out or i'll leave it below but the cool thing about this which is why it's different from the others and why we loved it and i'll let you talk about some of the reasons why we didn't in a minute um is it was really campground feely yeah it felt like a campground rather than ours, an, an rv resort like nothing is immaculate everything works fantastically Sandy the power pads. everything yeah the internet was okay no chance of getting starlink because it's all forest mm -hmm. um but the the uh yeah sandy pads but the sites were big enough for our rig certainly oh yeah uh no issues with that but the best thing about the whole thing about otter springs is that there is a spring that you can swim in yep a private spring spring there is an event center they have cabins and also they do kayaking so yes. they basically rent the kayaks for cost yeah um it's like very cheap. i can't remember what they were like 15 dollars or something yeah. a lot of places you pay 60 70 dollars for a kayak in crystal river I spent, yeah. yeah definitely so uh they have their own kayaks that they can rent out there's forest walks there's trails there is so much land there you can go out we love walking the dogs out and around there the hikes are beautiful yeah yeah and so anyway it was a real kind of more camping kind of feel to it than a resort yeah i feel like if you're going away for a weekend you just want to have fires Perfect. and go fishing yeah. and kayaking that was our number one resort for that yeah absolutely so the bad things though natalie we want to be completely transparent here if your dogs like squirrels it is squirrel heaven oh my goodness we had a tree right next to our window that the squirrels would often just sit on i'm sure they were looking at the dogs and Jax was losing his mind he completely destroyed the sofa just scratching up and down and it was just like okay this is driving me crazy now and then op jumped our fence for the first time and ever you know ran around the bloody camp so it's very embarrassing uh so yeah he doesn't do that when we go to more of the parking lot styles but man no. those squirrels were far too tempting it was uh, they were very tame as well there were so many and they were yeah, so tame they, they didn't care he, we were walking care. past with dogs they just ran out in front of us i'm like yeah. hello <laughs> was there any other bad things not really like you said the internet just was starlink didn't work because there was trees so that's one thing their cell signal was workable but it wasn't fantastic oh and they are muddy sandy sites so expect yeah, to get a ton of it, that in the rig if it rains and stuff yeah but i mean no other than that it was um it's gonna look awesome once they finished all the work they're still working on it they're, yeah. they're investing loads of money into it so it's definitely right. to check out on the florida side <laughs> all right well we hope some of these are on your list if there's anything else that you think we should go and see oh yes please um, let us please let us know by the way we're thinking we're almost 98 percent sure that this summer we will be going up to maine so if anyone knows anything up the east coast all the way up to maine then please let us know all right that's it we're going to leave everyone else's links below for theirs i'm very interested to see them um and i will also leave a playlist up here yep so you can click on the playlist if you don't want to go through the description um so yeah Thank you. If you can like this video, subscribe, and hit the bell button, the join button <laughs> to become a brazier and support a couple of tits. Okay. There's also a thanks button if you want to hit that as well. But anyway, all right, we will see you next week.